Okay, in this lesson, before we going in depth in menu and selection or in a Rhino, you have to be uh, familiar with all object and component in uh, super hyper modeling software that called Rhino. Because we have a lot of ways to modeling uh, in a Rhino. Okay. Uh, we begin from here. I, in this scene, I uh, prepare all kind of the object and element in Rhino. The first and little component that we create in Rhino is point and point cloud. In a point, it is the smallest component in Rhino, and we can create all kind of points and point cloud here. In the next lesson, I will insert a point cloud, a very huge point cloud, and you can understand the benefit of the point cloud in a rhino. The second element that we have are lines here. You can insert any lines here from these, these tools. From that line, we can simply create a surface, as you can see. Okay, we can create a surface. Those are lines. Another component or another object those are not components, sorry. Another object is curve. As you can see, there are like curve and smooth line. You can also create objects from curve. Okay. From the point, we can create a line and then surface. And from the uh, line and the curve, we can combine the curve to create surface. <clears throat> and we can create all curves, open curves, closed curves, all objects. Here, a poorly line, a poorly curve here. And after that, we have something called surface. Those are surface. All of this is surface. the main method for modeling in a Rhino. All of these are nerves modeling system. The main and basic the modeling in a Rhino is a nerves. We have a lots of tool for creating a surface. But the, in a Rhino, it's uh, separate them to two category, surfaces and poly surfaces. Here in a select, the software divided to in a poly surface here. For example, you can select a poly surface. What is the poly surface? Those objects. As you can see, there are brick in some edges. There are surface, but they are very continuous and smooth surface with no bricking. There are surface, the software call them surface. And here, for example, um, you can select surface. The software call them surface. And for example, here we have a curve that we extrude that and we create a surface with that. But here we have a brick here. The surface does not continue to smooth its way. The software call them poly surface and here as you can see it's a graphical icon it's like this is a brick surface and you can select a poly surface another object and another method for modeling it's like uh, other software or uh, bring back to here this is a poly surface that can that create from some faces, okay, the, some surface. For selecting the surfaces, you have to select Ctrl Shift click. And as you can see, we have a sub surface here. We call them a component. As other 3D package software like Cinema 4D, 3D Max, Maya, any software, we have a polygon mesh line to create object so this is the nerves we uh, they are created with the curves and surface and they are very smooth and you can change them anytime that you want another method for modeling uh, like other software in rhino is mesh modeling here we have a mesh tool Exactly like other 3D package software, surface, line, point, we can select them and we have all kind of 
uh, component and tools for them. Okay. For select the component of them, you can click anywhere to deselect them. Control Shift click. This is um, polygon, like other software. You can modeling polygon method in Rhino. You can select line. You can select points. Interesting. Okay, and you can do the polygonal modeling in Rhino. This is another method for learning. Another interesting method for uh, modeling in a Rhino is subdivision surfaces. Here, you can Control Shift click on any surface. As you can see, there are subdivision surfaces. Control Shift click in the edges, as you can see. Okay, this is when you click on that. In a next lesson, I want to uh, explain selection and all kind of selection and you have to know all object and component before and this is the another subdivision surface okay i want to introduce all kind of object here in the filter i will explain the section uh, filter selection the software categorize its objects in those uh, parts so we have main category of object points, curves, surface, poly surface, as I said before, subdivision surface here, meshes, uh, annotation here, it's annotation. You can type anything in annotation. Lights for rendering, we have a lights here for rendering. And lights, blocks, control point uh, for reaching the control point for any object for example curves as you can see we have a control point if you select the curve those are control points you can change and control your curve with that control point those are control point for the objects for showing the control point you have to go in a standard or in edit you can activate it here control point for object you can select that and click Click on this and the control point of the object will appear and you can control your surface and modeling in subdivision surface method for modeling. It's interesting. Those are control points. You can select them, for example. Select both of them. Select uh, some of them. I will teach you selections. important. First, you have to know all of them. Uh, those, are, those are control point, point cloud there and hatches. In the architectural modeling, we use hatches, all kind of hatches. You can select them and the other. And here is a sub selection. When you click that, you can select the sub selection. As you can see, you can select. Uh, when you active the sub uh, object, you don't need to hold Ctrl Shift. You can select any sub in any object. As you can see, we have two different. Uh, object in different world in the Rhino mesh modeling, subdivision modeling, surface modeling, as you can see, it's nerves modeling, nerves modeling, mesh modeling, subdivision modeling, all together in Rhino. The Rhino is awesome. I will teach you selection filter. Don't worry. Okay, in this lesson you. Uh, understand all kind of objects modeling methods in a rhino and component we have point line surface and anything in the object in a rhino and in the next lesson we want to select them i want to uh, explain the selection to how we can to select for example both of them some of the line uh, in a different categories of the object okay we have to we want to explain select menu and also uh, in edit select object this huge selection tool you can select anything in any the category in a rhino and also this is a dimension objects you can select the dimensions that you want Okay, stay tuned with us to the next lesson. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, 
subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.